Hey everybody, welcome to the second episode of Sprocket and Claw. Today we're going to be showing you how to load a Bolex H16. So the first thing I like to do before I load the camera is actually turn the frames per second down to 12 frames per second. We're gonna be advancing the film while we're threading using the motor. The next thing we wanna do is actually wind the camera three or four revolutions. The reason I only wind the camera three or four times is because you're not supposed to put the camera away wound. So you don't want the spring to be loaded if you're not gonna use it for an extended period of time. So if you're loading the camera and you're gonna immediately shoot with it, go ahead and wind it all the way up. But if you're not gonna be shooting with it for an extended period of time, go ahead and just give it a few winds so that you can get the film loaded. So to take the door off, you need to flip the latch up and turn it counterclockwise and the door will lift off. You wanna make sure to put the door down on the out, with the outside down on the table. You don't wanna get this part of the door dirty because this is the inside of your film camera. So the two things you're gonna need are an empty 100 foot daylight spool and your brand new roll of film. You wanna discard the paper. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do here is close the loop formers by turning this lever down and this just creates a proper loop. The next thing you'll do is you will load your film following the arrows into the first sprocket and from this point we can advance it with the motor. And you're going to want to roll a little bit out here at the end so that you can get it fed into your take up reel. So at the end of the film we're just going to want to just make a little L with it like that. The reel has a little slot in here that actually goes inside of the reel. So the film, you will, you'll kind of work it in here and get that down into that slot so that you can start to feed the film onto the reel. Now you're just going to place it onto the take up side and we'll roll just a little bit of film here so we know everything's running well. Then we'll make sure that we open the loop formers so you can see here that the film is no longer touching any metal in here. So the next thing we need to do is just reattach the door. So now we've got the door on and we're ready to shoot. A lot of people at this point would say to roll out the counter to zero because every time you take the door off, this counter resets and you have to run several feet out before this will actually read zero. I think you're missing out on a beautiful opportunity for a film burn that could be organic into an image. So if you run it out to zero, you're just gonna have a film burn to black. If you're aware of it and you leave it and shoot into an image, you'll get a film burn into the image and this is something you can only get with film. Be sure to set the camera back to 24 frames per second so you're not shooting at 12 frames per second for the whole reel. So really the only thing left to do is to tape the door. Uh, these cameras are old. They may have some kind of light leak somewhere and we're just gonna mitigate any of that from happening by putting some tape on it. And here I have the standard colors that we use. We've got blue for daylight, red for tungsten, and black for exposed. So today we loaded tungsten film inside the camera. So I'm gonna go with red so that we know that we have tungsten film in here. And we're just gonna work our way around the door. And then as we get to the end right here, I, I typically just tear it off. And then I'll actually throw a little piece right here. I'm not using any filters for the back, which we'll get to on another episode, but I just like to cover all of this stuff up so that I'm not getting any leaks anywhere in the camera. So that is fully taped up, ready to shoot with. The only other thing I like to do so no one comes around and tries to open your door, even with all that tape on there. There's no way they can open the door when that latch is taped. And always be sure to label the camera 
so that you don't pick this thing up two months from now when you haven't shot with it and you have no idea what film stock is in there. Thanks for watching. I wanna give a shout out to my buddy Neil at Kansas Grip who provided all the light and grip today. Be sure to subscribe and if you have any questions or suggestions for us on this channel, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below and we'll see you next time.